In this video, I'll be making some dangerously fast pencil sharpeners, beating the pencil sharpening world record, and eating a carrot. But for now, this is my current pencil sharpener that hardly works due to all its software updates. Updating. Updating. But how do you go from this to this? Uh, you don't. Instead, you pick up one of these bad boys. The Exacto 1031KS has left a lasting impact on everyone that has used one. And by that I mean I'd rather fail a test because my pencil was dull than go up and use this in front of the whole class. As a baseline, I wanted to see how long it takes me to sharpen the pencil by hand, and that took about 23 seconds. Oh yeah. For reference, the current world record sits at 4.44 seconds by Devilish Bird to sharpen a pencil without a drill. In the drill full category, the record sits at 1.837 seconds by Charma. I won't actually be competing in this series because I break almost every single rule, but I'm just trying to go for the fastest pencil sharpener ever, and 1.837 seconds is the fastest I have seen documented. Now to build this hog, one might start with a beefy motor that can do 13,000 RPM, a fat battery to power the motor, a toggle switch to turn it on and off, and a bunch of 3D printed parts to hold it all together. And one might become frustrated when everything falls apart and doesn't work. But it is at this time that one might remember that one owns an angle grinder. I then just made a 3D printed adapter for it to connect to the Exacto sharpener, and now I've got an 11,000 RPM pencil munchin' mama. Okay, let's see if this bad boy works. That is quite terrifying. Now because the grinder is rotating clockwise, if this does come apart and this flies out, it should rotate uh, directly into me. Oh, I think that just came apart. Um... Please hold. So basically before I had it, it just screwed on to the end of this and held it tight. This design actually uses the handle itself to push it around and doesn't depend on it actually just being tight, which melted the plastic in the first place. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Okay, a damage report is in. We had some pretty spectacular failures. This whole thing completely sheared off. The top completely sheared off. My other cutter completely sheared off. So I think this is I, th I think this design is no good, actually. I still think the grinder is a good idea. It's just, I guess, too fast. But I do have these bad boys. And if I have them spin at each other, just opposite directions, that's like 5,000 RPM. So that's still pretty good. I'll make something real quick and we'll test that out. This one hasn't exploded so far. Let me try another one to get the technique down. That's pretty quick. Okay, here we go. Official test for a fully unsharpened pencil. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I see what happened. Okay, let me start over. Let me start over. I was grabbing it by the uh, the metal piece at the end, and the metal piece was just twirling around. Actually, what might be a better idea is if I hold it with a clamp. Let me, let me try that. Let's see how fast we can get this. It's a, I accidentally just sharpened it a little bit, so I don't know. Add like a millisecond onto my time. I felt like that was pretty fast. Let's see how fast we can get it to go this way. Time. Woo! That was quick. I think it was under a second. It was not under a second, but it was quite fast, clocking in at 1 second and 6.66 milliseconds, accounting for 30 frames per second. There's so much shavings on here. Makes you kind of hungry, doesn't it? Okay, world record attempt part two. Fully unsharpened pencil. Woo! <laughs> That's pretty quick. That was pretty quick. The quickest documented time of a pencil being sharpened at 0.9 seconds. Pretty sweet. But I feel like pencils aren't the only thing this thing can sharpen. I mean, what if you're like at a nice diner and you want some freshly grated carrots on your salad? Uh, I feel like this is a perfect application for that, no? Oh, I just got my salad. It has no freshly grated carrots on it. Whatever shall I do? Good thing you brought this along in your fanny pack. Uh, just tell me when, sir. Well, the carrot actually got too big, but it, it sharpened it really nicely. That is super strange. I have never seen a carrot like this before. I don't, I, hmm. Yeah, it actually tastes better this way too. 
No, it's good. It's good. So yeah, kids, if you've got one of these at home, I highly recommend hooking a drill up to it and throwing some carrots through it. It's actually really quite entertaining. Um, well, I don't even remember what the point of this video was. So even though my grinder pieces didn't work out and the grinder kind of just exploded everything because it was way too fast, um, I think I set two world records here. The fastest time to sharpen a pencil, documented, and also the fastest time to sharpen a carrot, also documented, um, strangely enough. So... That's probably not a category yet. I got freaking carrot juice everywhere. I don't know if you can see it on my glasses or not.